guys welcome back to another vlog today is monday i've been taking it pretty easy with just some work and you know whatever this week i'm getting back into a healthy routine back on my like 6 a.m workouts my walks i'm cooking dinner tonight i'm actually going to get food really quickly on my way to a facial because mendocino farms opened in dallas while i was out of town so i missed the event but i still wanted to go you know see what's up it's in west village we already had one here but the new one opened in west village which is just like incredible west village is getting a ton of stuff now it's becoming the west village i always knew it could be you know anyways um i'm getting a facial today when i get back i think i might go on a walk with amanda i'm gonna cook soup make soup um and i'm just starting a new book i finished taylor jenkins reads taylor jenkins reads New book that's coming out August 30th, I think. Um, Carrie Soto is back. Really liked it. It's not, obviously, I don't think anything will ever be better than Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I liked better than Daisy Jones and the Six. I wasn't like obsessed with that book. I liked the premise. Um, Malibu Rising, I wasn't obsessed with it, it was good, but I love her early like romance books. Anyways, have a little bag from Sephora. I ordered some things on Instacart today. I got the Tower 28 SOS spray. Lindsay Carter, um, who owns Set Active, was telling me about this when we recorded. That episode will be up in the next few months. Um, but everyone was telling me that this is the best thing ever. I saw um, Haley Bieber post about it, so had to try it out. And then I decided I needed new foundations because, you know what? I might be crazy with this, but sometimes I'll be using a foundation or a CC cream or whatever it is that I'm using for months and be like, this is the best thing ever and be obsessed with it, and then all of a sudden it just like doesn't look the same on my skin. So, got some new stuff to try out. The first thing being the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless, can't talk, Flawless Filter. Um, looks beautiful. I wanted to try this, I've heard a lot of things about this. And then the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Anytime I ask someone what they're using on their skin, when I love it, it's always this foundation and I've never had it. So, I'm excited to try. Um, updates to come on how I feel about these products. Maybe I'll try it this week. Um, but we're about to head out. My sunglasses are downstairs. Getting lunch, getting a hydrofacial, and then we'll see what's going on for the rest of the day. I didn't vlog until now. It's like three, so we're off. the hydrofacial I didn't express just 30 minute one my skin is already so much glowier they also did some manual extractions which I really needed just had some breakouts but oh my god my skin feels so good and I think I'm actually gonna go get my car washed because I now have a car wash membership um so I'm really an adult and I think I'm gonna do that and then head home I'm supposed to go on a walk but like it's really hot so maybe I'll just make dinner you know Guys, I'm dying at this PR package. Let me show you. One of the glasses broke, but it's okay. Everything that I need to make frozen drinks. I have this little mini magic bullet. I don't know why I never know how to pronounce this. I, it's just that word that I just can't say. I use it all the time for drinks. It's from them. Um, they sent over like a fun boy thing. All these cute little drink things. Okay, this has got to move for him. Oh my god, cute little ice cubes. Oh my god. These are adorable. Maybe I'll bring this stuff to my birthday. I'm assuming that's a charger for that. I'm not sure. This is the one that broke. Oops. All the like little attachments. Okay, I'm so excited. Like, oh my god, I'm so excited. This is also amazing. Like, incredible. 
All right, I'm about to start cooking. Um, Amanda's gonna come over for dinner. We're not walking because it's gonna be like 100 degrees out. I'm gonna make a little mocktail, if you will, AKA I'm just going to put recess over ice in a wine glass. So that's what I'm doing also. I have my pickles. Um, I originally got these from my friend, Stephen Paul, who's a country artist. Um, I saw that he did this and Amanda loves pickles, so I got her some and then I ordered a few more just because I ordered them online and they are so good. I don't know why I don't have pickles even more often. Like, they're incredible. Oh my God. Like, amazing. Wow. Paul's pickles, check them out. Okay, for today, I'm gonna go with peach ginger. Recess, these are really great. I'll link them below. Um, they're just really great, like, I think it's, I don't know what's in them. I forget, but they calm me down. Wine glass from West Down. So I'm making soup. I forgot kale. In my Instacart order, it's just chicken rice soup with some vegetables. Very simple, actually, though. It's really good. Um, I just wanted to put enough chicken in. I, for whatever reason, just didn't. And then also the kale, really, whatever. It's better than it looks, I will say. Amanda's coming over soon. I have her mocktail options ready and her pickles. Good morning, guys. Um, my alarm for Pilates at six didn't go off. So it's not like 6.30. I'm about to go walk the trail and then I'm gonna go to 8.30 Pilates. Um, I'm so tired. Getting up this week has been impossible. Like I have not been well. I have no energy. I've been tired. Actually, it's not that I have no energy. I just like, yeah, I have no, I'm just tired. But I will say, I tried the Array sleep pills last night and I didn't wake up feeling groggy like you would with melatonin. Also, it's like weird that I had these on. I would I didn't wake up like feeling groggy like I did with melatonin. I I just like don't feel like waking up at 5 a.m. right now. But anyways, really incredible, like obsessed. Array is always the best. So anyways, I'm ordering my coffee to be ready and I'm gonna go walk the trail. And then I'm going to Pilates. on a dress because I'm about to film a try on haul for my Princess Polly stuff. Um, I am soaked in oil right now as y'all can see. This is what I've been using on my body. It is the Shea Moisture Virgin Coconut Oil Daily Hydration Body Oil. I put this on after the shower. It's really great because it's like lightweight but still really moisturizing and it does soak into your skin and just like takes a second. So once it's done. I will feel amazing. I'm gonna try my new... Is this the foundation or is this... I, I think it's like... It's the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like it is, but I also feel like I'm giving me a primer. I really actually have like literally no idea. Um, but here we go. I don't even know how you open this thing. Oh, awesome. I feel like it's super, yeah, it's super lightweight. To where it's like... A primer. What is it? All right, let's see here. Okay, so it's like super subtle and natural looking. Like it looks like I have nothing on my skin, but I do, but like barely, it's very subtle. I wanna try it with like different looks when I'm actually doing full makeup. Today I'm not. I'm just gonna put on some liquid blush, brush on my eyebrows and maybe some mascara. I'm obsessed with Rare Beauty. I've been using this Rare Beauty blush and happy like nonstop. It's so good. And then I just pat this out, you know?
just filmed the try on haul and this is my outfit for the day also from princess polly like so cute really just the perfect summer loungewear i also have a matching bodysuit i mean it's just so lightweight so cute i was gonna style my hair and then i just like didn't feel like it i have an event at five um i don't know how many ready but i did decide today to do a little bit of a closet clean out again 30 minutes and then do one in my bathroom and then have some outfits like ready to go for this weekend i feel like i have so many cute outfits that i always want to wear or have like good ideas and then when it gets time to get ready i just completely blank and i can't remember anything and then i wear the same thing every time you know so i'm gonna hopefully do that today i have a big to-do list of work um, i'm gonna make some breakfast too i'm hoping i have sweet potatoes because then i can make my like avocado on sweet potato it's so good um we will see so i know this doesn't look super appealing but my mom always makes it and I, I might put like everything with the bagel seasoning on or something like that if i have it but it's just sweet potato that i put in my air fryer and then avocado on it and it's actually so good i obviously need to add some other things to it but i'm telling you guys this is amazing Alright guys, oh my god, I am so tired. Anyways, um, I've been working, I just drank some coffee, and I have a call in 45 minutes, 42 minutes, but I decided I'm going to use these 42 minutes to declutter my closet, go through really quick, giving the clothes away, I need some, I need space, like we said, and then also my bathroom counter, it's literally disturbing, like it's absolutely not okay. Um, I just had the best brain brainstorming, not even brainstorming, I had the best like meeting with myself just now doing the remainder of like marketing for 2022 for the Okine and I just want to say like, am I a genius? Am I a genius? I might be. I, I genuinely, when you see this stuff and you're like, wow, never been done before, beautiful, genius, whatever, just know it was me. Okay. Anyways, um, I need to go do this. 42 minutes. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna feel better. And then I have a call for a pop-up and then I need to get ready and go to this SE event tonight. So yeah, and then I have to come home at 7 p.m. and go to bed because 6 a.m. Pilates tomorrow and I made my friend Sloan. She's also on TikTok um, and YouTube actually in Dallas. Um, I made her join the class with me so it would keep me accountable and that's gonna be my trick to making sure I am there. So we have to go. We have lots of things to do. We're gonna time lapse this really quickly. It's gonna be a... Very like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Satisfying. There you go. Out of control guys like 
Well, one, a lot of it's my bags. This will be easy. This is, by the way, not gonna be a trash bag. I'm just using a bag to transport it to another area of my house, but this is ridiculous. So I'm putting a timer on for five minutes and it's gonna be out of here. If I don't use it every day, it's gone. Yeah. Alexa, by the way, shuffle Taylor Swift. Shuffling songs by Taylor Swift on Amazon Music. figure out my organization this is about as good as it's gonna get still way too cluttered I should go through this um, but still it's a lot better I mean it, it looks horrible but it's a lot better than it was so I'm feeling good and that only took five minutes I'm actually gonna wash my face let my skincare like seep in and then we're gonna do like a nice little get ready with me um, after this call kind of take y'all through like my outfits and stuff um, there's an SE event tonight at the Charles which I've only gone there one time and I loved it. It was so cute. So I think I'm actually taking, they have like a lift code and stuff. So that is the plan. Um, I just need to like, you know, too much. It is time to get ready for the event. And I'm between these two looks. Now this dress is beautiful. I wore it this weekend. I want to wear it again. I didn't even get a photo in it. However, I would wear that to a lot of other things. I have this set that I haven't worn to anything, and I think I would really only wear it to like an event kind of vibe. Um, I'm definitely wearing this this weekend. I've, you know, been kind of planning out some outfits, but I'm feeling like I'm gonna do this top with these shoes and then my Chanel. Just keep it very neutral and really pull my hair back a ton. Maybe add some cute like dangly earrings. I think that's gonna be the vibe. Getting ready now, I'm going to try the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I don't know if this is even the right shade right now. Haven't even tried this yet. I ordered it um, on Instacart, so we'll, we'll see. How many pumps? I just said two. Now the tongue comes out with the pumps. Oh, wow. Guys, wait, why have I not been using this forever? Since birth? Wait a second. It looks so natural. Like, okay, I'm literally years behind. This foundation is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna come back once I finish my makeup. But like, I love it. I absolutely love it. I've never felt like, oh my God, it's just so good. Just finished my makeup. I really like the foundation. If you guys have it, let me know how you apply it. Like, do you use a beauty blender? Do you use a brush? Wait, what's happening? Someone has come to my house. But anyways, I'm loving, loving the makeup. Like, obsessed. All right, guys. I'm finally ready for the event. I'm all the way back here to see. Okay, well, anyways, this set is Princess Polly. I like it. I'm not, like, obsessed. But I feel like if I don't wear it now, I never will. But then part of me is like, this is cute, you know? Um, I have my shoes. These are heels from LPA. I have them in black as well. They're the most comfortable heels. They're some of my favorite. These and the ones I just got. It's always the heels that I get on Revolve. I love LPA and I love Ray. Actually, really, those are the two that I'm always wearing. Anyways, best heels ever. So this is the look. And then I just have my Chanel and I'm going to go. I have a little bit. I think I have like 10 minutes until I'm going to leave. So actually not that bad. There's nothing worse than like being ready way too early and just sitting around. It's actually the worst feeling ever. So anyways, I'm going to call an Uber soon.
waiting to do Chelsea. It's like 5.30. I'm gonna ice roll and then I'm heading off and making a way to go to um, Pilates with me this morning. So it's gonna be a very negative car ride. It's very early. She's not gonna be happy about this. But anyways, doing Pilates and then do my morning walk. Tonight or today is my sleepover with my niece. So um, we'll just vlog in the morning and then I'll see you guys tomorrow probably. But my outfit is your bars, ice rollers, tape potential. Also, this set is the softest workout set I've ever had in my entire life. I don't even know where to begin on how incredible this is. Also, Chelsea Handler and Joe Coy broke up this week and like, I'm just having a really hard time with it. I'm very sad. I've actually never been so sad about like a celebrity breakup ever, but they were just such a beautiful couple. It's just so sad. And I will say to her podcast from like literally days ago, she was talking about him as her boyfriend and how grateful she was. So really heartbreaking, really, really heartbreaking. I'm not doing well. So anyways, I feel like I've eyes rolled enough. I might make a little bit of a coffee. I really need to leave, but like, I also need to stay away in class, you know? I'm like, how do you do it all? Morning sunshine. I can't even talk to you. It's not even funny. Like I'm not kidding. I can't. I'm so mad. She's being nicer on camera. Um, she got in the car and said, I can never talk to you again. I told her don't talk to me because I didn't want to talk. And then she's like, How's your morning? <laughs> like, I don't want to have a conversation right now. But I woke her up. See, for anyone else, I would have done that. She's slipping me off. For anyone else, I would have done that, but like I know you, and you just needed a little pep in your step. No, I. There was no pep. That was. You're needed. being so. You're talking normal now. I'm literally not talking normal. I got in the car and I said, "Don't talk to me." And you tried to have a full-on conversation. So true. We were gossiping. We were talking about work things. Gossiping. <laughs> okay, so we're going into Pilates. It is um 5:48 a.m. And we're mad. I'm having a great time. It's hard when you get up. It's the Waking up is the hard part. And then when you're up, I'm like, by the time I get out to my car, I've got a pep in my step. I can't even put my contacts in. It's so fucking early. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to do a little walk on the trail. It's 710. Feeling amazing. We just I ordered a Starbucks. I love my friends. I they love me. I actually hate this day. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I can't do it. She said if the paramedics have to come to Katie Trail, so be it. They will. And you're going to have to call them. And then you're going to have to tell, explain to my parents what you literally did to me that put me in the ER. Your brother will be proud. No. He would, actually, he would. <laughs> yeah, he, he would be proud. At 5 yeah, he would be proud. <laughs> but he's the only one. I'm not trying to make him proud. Okay, so this one's yours. You can't take mine. Do you want a straw? She's like, it helps me to like actually. It is now only 8:30, and I'm back home eating breakfast, answering emails, starting on my day, getting some work done. I made my sweet potato, um, little avocado like slices, if you will. They're so good. I am completely obsessed. But I need new like breakfast ideas. I don't know what I need to make. I need to have like more protein in the morning. I think. Um, just cause that's just what my like body feels like, but I don't really know at all. So y'all let me know. But if you guys have good, like easy breakfast, please seriously, I'm begging. All right, guys, I forgot to put my camera inside, um, when I went home this morning, but I just had a little productive morning. Now I'm picking up Sophie for our sleepover. She's my niece. Um, one thing I wanted to say is I'm really thinking about totally revamping my YouTube channel. And I have a lot of video ideas, like cooking like a private chef for a week, or going to like Dolly World, or what are other ones? Like going to do like credit card swaps with TK and things like that. But do you guys even want to see those videos, or do you just want vlogs? Like, I'm really burnt out on YouTube, but not in the way that I feel like I'm overworking myself, but in the way of I'm just like really uninspired. But I really need feedback. Like, do you want me to do like making drinks? I want to do like get ready with me for like going out. Like, just more like not highly produced, but like not vlogs. So, do you guys want that? Do you even care? Let me know. Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all probably tomorrow. I'm gonna take the day off of vlogging. 
Um, I'm trying to think of other ideas that I have. I have like a whole list of them. Oh, um, a video of doing like going off of an article of like things to do in your 20s so you don't regret it, like things like that. Let me know what y'all think um, or if you would just prefer vlogs because I'm open to all of it. Also, how annoying it is, is it that I'm posting shorts to you guys? I don't know. Let me know. Um, I just need feedback. I'm getting, I did get a comment saying I, they feel like I'm not like as personal on my YouTube channel and like I feel like I am. I just, there are certain things that I feel like, I don't know, maybe I am, I don't, I don't know. Let me know. Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. Actually, not good morning. It is like probably 3 p.m. Um, so far today, I, what have I done? I woke up, I took Sophie home, got breakfast with my family, I went to Pilates, went to therapy, and I've just been working at home. But I'm thinking I'm gonna make a matcha in my little like frother thing. It's gone. And I wanna do it with just a water base. This is probably gonna be so horrible. I used to make matcha from home all the time. I'm using peak tea and Lauren has been posting about it on Instagram nonstop. So now I'm like, is this what I should do? I'm going on a walk on the trail later. This is a matcha, but it's also like a fasting tea, I guess if you're like intermittent fasting or something. Okay, well the other problem is that I can't shake this. I am gonna stir it and I feel like I might have too much water in here. Today, on my favorite podcast, World's First Podcast, Jin, um, they're talking about the artist way, which is so crazy. Hold on one second. Okay, this is not eight ounces of water. Like, it tastes really watered down. Okay, awesome. But I'm just gonna make it work, okay? Anyways, she's talking about the artist way, which is crazy because in my recordings last week, the artist way was brought up to me three times. And the fact that I haven't read it already or done it is crazy because I'm such a like morning pages girl. So I think I'm gonna get that book today because I'm, you know, I'm turning 25 in a few weeks and I was just thinking about different things that I wanna do and things that like fascinate me. Um, or just like different things that I want to do my 25th year. I'm like not making sense because I'm so tired. And that is one of them. Also, I think it would help because it's like your path back to your creative self. And when I'm feeling a little bit burnt out or like just not, you know, with it, if you will. Who says that? No one. I just, I'm interested to see what the artist way will do. And it's like self, it's you go on like dates and stuff. Gonna get the book. I'll talk to you guys as I'm doing it. Um, but basically what you do, I think you commit to like 12 weeks and you do morning pages every morning and then you do like an artist date, like a solo date once a week. So you can go to a movie, you could go clean your closet if that's what fuels you. You could go to a museum, you could go like wherever, go different things if they give you like prompts. So I want to do that because it has been coming up so much that clearly it is something that I should be doing and I need to be doing. The second thing that I want to do when I've set up a few appointments is I really do want to get into personal training. The cost is really what makes me not do it because it's so expensive, but I've been finding cheaper ones. I like want to do group, which is hard to like find someone who has the same schedule and same things that you want to do. Um, but I just have always wanted to do personal training and I really want to start like weight training or strength training and I can't do that by myself. Like I don't know how to do it. So maybe I don't even need a personal trainer forever, but I need someone to like teach me, you know? So we're all about doing new things. We're all about trying new different things here. Um, I also decided I really want to go to the Chelsea Handler stand up because I love Chelsea Handler. I also need to read her books because I like am truly one of her biggest fans. I love her um, and any podcast or anything she's ever on, hers, I listen to every single thing. But the fact that I haven't gone to a stand up is kind of crazy. So I want to do that too. What are the new things? Um, I think when I'm like in my 40s, I want to go to Italy for a week and take like a cooking class. That'd be fun. What else? I don't know, I'm just like thinking of things, you know? So we're all about trying new things and maybe I'll become back to a matcha girl at home and if you guys make matcha from home, let me know. But I do want to do water base, that's one thing. Just feel like that's, I'm able to cut out like the milks and stuff, which I don't feel like make me feel amazing. So I do want to do water base. Obviously this is too big. Um, but if y'all have tips, let me know. Going on a walk tonight. Hopefully gonna read. It's gonna be really chill. I'm tired. I want to take it easy today. 
have some meetings tomorrow and just like it literally my week and my life videos are the exact same thing every single time which is what i was talking about in the last clip when i was going to pick up sophie like everything's just repetitive and my life is repetitive i'm a routine person i go work out every day that's pretty much what i do i work from home i make meals and i see my friends when i went to on the weekends like i am just boring i don't have that much to say it's the exact same thing all the time and i am just really bored of it and burnt out and yeah so let me know need all of your commentary down below i'm gonna watch bfs podcast as i eat my lunch and then probably read for the afternoon like i'm dying to read i could be working but i don't want to i want to read so that's what we're doing happy friday guys i'm vlogging on my phone right now i'm taking myself on a little solo date if you will we're going, or I'm going to Cafe Duro. I haven't been there before. It's on Greenville. And then after, we're going to walk the trail. I also brought my headphones and my Kindle and my journal to journal and read. So, really needed this this morning. That's the plan. Today, I have meetings. I need to do laundry. Wash my hair. Blow up. That's like a whole thing. I need to get my nails done. There's a lot going on. And we're starting our night pretty early today, or tonight. So, anyways, um, I've never been here. It looks really cute, though. <music> guys i'm back from my morning i went to cafe duro which i think actually might be my new favorite coffee shop in dallas it's on greenville it was so cute but there wasn't any seating there's not seating right now um so i didn't sit and read but i did get a matcha and then i got this really good like bowl i forgot what it was um and then i did a nice little walk on the katie trail and i'm back i'm actually editing a tiktok on um final cut pro because that's where i edit my TikToks besides one last night that I edited for my phone, but like I hate editing on my phone. It's horrible So, um, i'm gonna shower and do like the whole nine yards with my hair Get some laundry in, you know, just like really, uh Some responsible things are happening here today Whew, It was just like such a good morning. I feel like really productive and back in my routine um, it's just, it was so good. Alright guys, little update. I've been using the DPQ Color Fresh Leave-In Mist a ton. I just did a purple shampoo. I'm a little bit worried my hair. Yeah, see how it's going to be like a little bit gray and silver? Um, it's going to be okay. Um, but I, first, I spray this throughout my hair. Next week, I'm getting my hair redone and I'm getting new extensions. And I think, because right now I only have one left. I kind of want to get two and I kind of want to go longer. Which is just going to take so much longer to do my hair, which I hate, but part of me is like, I mean, like, I can style it, I guess. You know, I hate doing my hair, and it is a lot of work, but also, I'm like, it looks really good when you do it, so, I don't know, y'all let me know. Um, anyways, I brushed it out with this wet brush, this pink one, they recently sent me a ton of other brushes over, and I have been such a wet brush girl. Like my entire life. Okay, I've also been using the DP Hue Daily Scalp Serum. These, I'm not kidding, I received like probably four scalp serums in like one week. So it's really a thing of hair. But I brought scalp health and I want my hair to go back. I lost a lot of hair in COVID and my hair is definitely thinned out a ton. And it used to be naturally super, super thick. I mean, it is still like thick, but it's not like. I don't know, it's not what it was, you know? So I don't even know if I'm doing this right. You're supposed to just like put it throughout your hair and then rub it in. You can do it dry or wet. Um, but what have y'all done for like hair growth that isn't like a supplement? Because since I'm doing laser, I can't just take like Nutrafol right now or like another supplement that's gonna make hair grow because it makes hair grow all over your body and not just your head. So I need stuff that's like just for my head which has been a pain. All right, my hair is really wet still. So I'm gonna put it in a towel. I'm officially out of Rude Beauty. I really liked their stuff, um, the peptide thing. I didn't like the application. I felt like it was kind of annoying, but I now have Desi skincare. I need to get other stuff, but this is just what I had and I was like, I might as well try it out. I'm obsessed with Desi Perkins. The packaging is really, really great. Also, I've been using the Tower 28 SOS spray that Lindsay Carter talks all the time. She talked about it in an episode we recorded. It's not out yet. Um, but apparently, Haley Beaver posted about this too, and you like spray it all over your face before moisturizer, 
and it just like gets rid of breakouts and stuff, which is great. So we're gonna start with the Desi Vitamin C Glow Serum. I've been using this for a few days. I don't like really love that you can smell these products, but the vitamin C serum is really lightweight. I know you're always supposed to wear vitamin C, and I always do, but like I don't always feel like I notice a difference. Maybe like immediately is what I'm looking for. I don't know. Next, the moisturizer. And then of course, my sunscreen, which is glow screen right now, so it gives you a little bit of color. This is just the one I have right now. This is the golden one though, so it gives you more color, so I'm saying. Sorry, um, there's two options. This one's just darker. Gives you more of like a bronze glow, which is really helpful when my body is tan, because like normally our face is paler, so it kind of helps match. That is all I'm doing for skincare. I'm wearing like lounge clothes from set right now because um, I'm just going to be taking meetings today and I'm going to get my nails done in the middle of that. I also want to get like super into hair health. Like I'm not supposed to be doing that. I'm supposed to be using like only like sweat microfiber towels on my hair. I don't know. I need to be doing oils. I need to be doing my hair masks. Like especially when I get my extensions, I want to really take care of it and have really healthy shiny hair and I feel like Doing hot Pilates all the time is probably not good for my hair because I feel like it really dries it out. So I'm gonna just take better care of it. So if y'all have reps, let me know. But anyways, this is it. I feel so much better now. There's nothing, there's no better feeling than like a fresh shower. Guys, I'm getting on the coolest call ever with someone from Dr. Amon's team, potentially to talk about doing a brain scan, which has been like a dream of mine to get a brain scan from Dr. Eamon, especially if you guys have watched the vlogs for the past like two years, I've talked about him a ton and I just got super into brain health and I just, oh my God, I love him. With that being said, I drink a lot of alcohol, but I do love his work and I really hope this works out because I really want one. They're so cool. Look it up, he's like a whole YouTube channel. Guys, I am like literally so excited I could cry. Dr. Eamon is coming to Texas and I'm doing a brain scan with him. Like I am, over the moon this is the most exciting thing ever if you guys maybe read the book like change your brain change your life that i always recommend it i get so many people tagging me in stories even now i haven't talked about brain health honestly in a while but oh my god i just became obsessed and i love him and i'm just like so excited so great news i'm gonna get my nails done now i have another meeting in two hours um i'm gonna listen to chelsea handler's podcast she was on martha stewart today like what more could i want um, update, I was going to give myself a blow up, but I didn't have enough time because I had more work to do, and so I'm letting it naturally dry, and then I'll style it. But I need to leave right now to make it to the nail salon. So I'm out, guys. Dr. Amen. I'm so excited. All right, I'm back home. I got my nails done. They look so much better. I went with a lighter pink. I got them shorter. It's my actual nails, so it like freaks me out when they get too long. Just got a coffee. Um, it is 3.30, and I'm about to get on a meeting, and then I'm gonna hang out with my friends tonight. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon. Okay, goodbye. Ever since I was little, I wanted to be famous. But like the older I get, the more I realize like that is literally not what I want. I just wanna be rich. Like, <laughs> I don't wanna be famous. Like, it's just too much. Like. I liked attention. I loved performing. I think I get those confused. Actually, like, I love to perform. I don't want to be famous. Like, 